Live every moment of your life in such a way that if you had to live it over and over again till infinity. Hey, this is me Navya and today I'm going to speak about all the books that I read this month. It was a wonderful start because I began with a very wonderful book and that was The Walk by Richard Paul Evans. This book is about a guy named Alan who is leading an amazing life but one day his wife dies and he also loses his job. The last words that were mentioned by his wife to him was asking him to live. That being a motivation for him not to self-destruct and he starts to walk. The 3000 mile walk becomes a beautiful journey for him to recover hope and understand the meaning of his life. It's a fictional content and uh, there is mention of God in this book and hence whoever are religious they may relate to it as more of spiritual book. Um, certain people may relate to it as more of a love story or romantic book. For me it was uh, more about understanding the meaning of life, similar to Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. I read this book in one sitting. It was very interesting one. It's a series of five books. I've only read one. I'm definitely going to read the rest of the books in this series. With that, let's go to the second book that I picked up. And that was a disaster for me. The book was Anuja Chauhan's Those Pricey Thakur Girls. I'll not speak much about this book because I did not complete reading it. I read half or probably just more than one fourth of the book. Why I disliked it so much was because of the abundance of Hinglish, Hindi plus English in this book and I'm definitely not a fan of it. In addition to that, I felt it very slow paced and the characters were not portrayed as very appealing to me. And hence I left it half way around or even before that I started the book Train to Pakistan by Kushwan Singh. Uh, yes, I'm very late in fact to uh, read this book but by, finally I picked this book up. The story evolves in a town named Manu Majra during 1947, that is India-Pakistan partition time. Um, the brotherhood between two communities, major communities, just turns into hatredness overnight because of communal violence. I would suggest this book for all people who want to understand India-Pakistan partition from the eyes of very common people. It was definitely a very serious and heavy read and hence I wanted to pick up a light read after reading this book. And then I picked up Born Confused by Tanuja Desai, another good book. In this book there is a quote and that is, In the East you love the person whom you marry and in the West you marry the person whom you love. Indirectly this book sheds light on that statement throughout. It's about a girl named Dimple who identifies herself as an ABCD, American born confused AC, as mentioned by one of her relatives. Um, she feels that she's neither an American nor an Indian. At times she feels she's both and at times she also feels that she's an outsider but at times as an insider, basically all confused. As you may have understood by now, it's a cross-culture comedy, a young adult rom-com of a confused girl. It also speaks about friendship, family, tradition, culture and much more. A very light read, especially after a heavy book like Train to Pakistan. This was a right pick. And then I went to the next book. After reading quite a few fictions, I felt like picking up a non-fiction and hence I picked up the book The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Um, this book basically lets you identify your primary love language as well as your spouse's or partner's primary love language. As per the author, there are five love languages or dialects of it, but everyone has one primary out of these five. The first love language is words of affirmation that is by appreciating or complimenting your partner by using positive words. The second one is spending quality time with your partner. The third one is receiving gifts and the fourth one is act of service reminding us to uh, request rather than demand. And the last one is physical touch. By the end of reading this book, you would be able to understand at least your primary love language. And you have a few questionnaires here that will help you actually to identify it quite easily. And then I move to the next book, Rocket Man Master of the Universe by Joel Barricade. This was a very short read, like around 50 pages or so. It's about the dictator, North Korean dictator, um, Kim and his friend Dennis, who travel to the outer space in the hope of conquering the outside world, space. Why they make such a decision? It's for you to read and understand. It's a fun and entertaining book, but I felt the ending quite abrupt. 
And that's because it has a second part as well. But I've not read the second part of the book. Got to definitely read it. So that was a good month with quite a few good reads. I have started reading another book. But I'll share a review of that book in my next episode. Until we meet next time, this is Nivya signing off. Keep reading a lot of books. Bye, take care. Happy reading.